Hello everybody, I'm Johnny Highland and welcome to 10 Gallon Guitar. Well folks, you know, music makes me smile and I absolutely, sincerely love to teach. And I've been wanting to do this course for a number of years. I've been a huge True Fire fan and you know what? I wanted to share all of the licks and many scales and fun things that I do and everything I've learned from my mentors, from Danny Gatton to Albert Lee, uh, and stuff that I've picked up on my own, you know? I just wanted to pay it forward in a good chicken picking fashion. I've organized this course into two sections, and in section one, we're gonna actually talk about what makes chicken picking guitar what it is. And folks, I'm going to take you back to every little thing that I've learned throughout the years to allow me to become the artist that I am today. Being born legally blind, I wasn't able to watch videos like you guys can or read tablature or anything like that. So I kind of had to learn a lot of things on my own, and I'm going to open myself up directly to you, cover things like the high, low, low, high pattern that I've come up with. But then we're also going to get back into the chicken picking elements, folks, like open string licks, double stops to where you can find chord shapes using the double stops, steel guitar bends, and I'll get to teach you where you can use your volume knob to do some steel guitar swells and make it sound like a true steel guitar. You're gonna get to check out my gear and we're gonna have a whole bunch of fun. In section two, we're gonna take all of the knowledge that we gained in section one and we're gonna put it to good use over 10 band tracks that I've created just for you in this course. Now folks, I got to play acoustic guitar, some bass, and some drums. I've created these on my own, and I know we're gonna have a blast. We've actually covered so many different genres, folks, from traditional country to modern rockin' country, and then of course we jumped into some western swing and some blues, and of course some hard rock. We're gonna start off with a good mid-tempo country track in the key of D. We're going to fire it up with a nice, fast, ripping train beat song in the key of A. <music> Grooves can certainly change the way you approach a solo. So let's take that same ripping track in the key of A and add a halftime groove to it. <music> Shuffles are definitely an integral part of the tradition of chicken picking. So we're going to look at a country shuffle in the key of D. I'll pull out my new archtop guitar and we'll play some western swing together in the key of G. Danny Gatton was definitely my inspiration in bringing rockabilly forth in this course. We're going to look at a rockabilly track in the key of E. Chicken picking can be used in other genres outside of country. So we're going to take a look at a blues track in the key of B. Getting to jam with guys like Sammy Hagar and Steve Vai certainly showed me that you can use chicken picking in hard rock. So we're going to look at a real cool hard rock track in the key of A. We're going to look at a funky track in the key of C where we'll get to combine chicken picking with blues, rock licks, and a whole bunch of other great stuff. And folks,
folks, you know we're going to have to definitely take a look at modern country, which is where we get to combine chicken picking licks with a little bit of edgy rock tone to it. So we're going to end the band track section with a country rock track in the key of C. Everything will be transcribed, tabbed, and notated just for you folks, and you're also going to get the short and long versions of the band tracks so you can have just as much fun as your heart desires. Well, enough talking folks, it's time to throw on your cowboy hats, get your boots on, grab your axes, because it is time to have some fun.